no doubt about it now. This guy has to be in the all man team. Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inc. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. Bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll fake the jet sweep there. Instead, hand to Jacobs up the middle. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Darian Kendrick. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. Brandon, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. There's Stafford. He'll buy some time right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Flush to his right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Kyron Williams taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away.
And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a pickup of six. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now it's O'Connell. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Play action. Now Connell. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Throwing, O'Connell. Pass incomplete. But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. O'Connell to throw on second down. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Raiders. Hunter Renfro from eight yards out, and the Raiders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was Hunter Renfro who capped things off with a touchdown reception. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. 
He ends up forcing the incompletion. Second and 10. Now Stafford. That'll be caught. It's cup. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 37. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 37-yard line. Buying time to his left. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. 25 yards that time. And O'Connell now to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Aaron Donald. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Here's O'Connell. Throwing the slant, and he finds Mayer. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. It gets it right back to Mayer. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now O'Connell. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Jacobs is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. From the shotgun, O'Connell. And he'll just get rid of it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Touchdown! Michael Mayer from four yards out. And the Raiders will take the lead here. Final minute of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Stafford now to throw. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. 
Now it's second and ten. Throwing at Stafford. Got a man. It's Higby complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 16. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 33. The kick by Maher is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. And now, due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. But well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Dancing to his left. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and one. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Play action. Stafford. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Trayvon Merrick. And the Raiders are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, that's not one you see very often on Aaron Donald because we know he's not trying to... ...do anything intentional, but that time, just a little too late for the officials' liking. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He's got Renfro on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and seven. Back to throw, O'Connell. He finds his man, complete. That's Jacobs. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. To throw here, O'Connell. That is caught. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Renfro, the motion man. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Five. 
Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. And that's complete to Adams. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 13-yard line. Looking to throw. O'Connell. Over to Hooper on the sideline. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Operating from the gun. O'Connell. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Raiders! Michael Mayer, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Raiders get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Going up top for Cup. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Another try, second and ten now. To throw is Stafford. Flushed out right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Raiders will take over here just shy of the 30. He violated a big-time no-no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tight. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time, not the case. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break.